パラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラ Okay, I think I'm on. Wait, it's super laggy. No, no, I think I'm here. Okay, anyways. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast, you're back with more I, the Somnium Files. Um, what did we do last time? I think we went inside Iris's. Oh, yeah, we went inside Iris's mind. Yeah. And we saw. A body of a lady on an operating table, but it had the head of the congressman, senator, dude. Okay, so let's examine everything. Sink chair, the subject's chair. The person sitting here is the subject of the sinking. Uh, uh, I just like to observe everything as much as possible. Sink machine, the sink machine. <laughs> okay, cool. Sink chair, the sinker's chair. The person sitting here does the sinking. Wait, sink chair, but they're both sink chairs. They should be called something different. Door. The door to the control room. Past that door is actually another door that will take you to the sixth basement floor of the government building. Aw, I thought stairs would have one. I guess not. Cables. No, I guess not. Floor. Nope. Okay, well, I guess we just gotta talk to Iris. Ooh! Ah! Neil, thanks so much for the resub! Ah, hello! Oh, you put the Founder's Badge on! Woo! Uh, let's see. What should I ask her? I just realized that Iris's name is Iris, like, inside the eye. And then there's Eyeball... Iba, who's supposed to be, like, Eyeball. So I'm just like, ah, oh, smart. So Iris is important somehow. Um... I don't care about how you're feeling right now. Do you know a politician named So Sejima? Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. Then why did his face pop into your mind? Do you remember your dream earlier? Dream? What are you talking about? The subject of the sink does not experience Somnium as you do. Ah, so they don't I see exactly what I see. Uh-huh. About the Nile message with, o with Ota. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. First of all, why were you texting him? What thing? I won't tell anyone about that thing. What is that thing? I'm not gonna tell you. I don't know. Ota's the one who wrote that. You should ask him. But Iba, you should Ota's know what it's wrote, about. Right? But he definitely sent that Nile message. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. The same number? Yes. Call it. Ooh, we talking with Ota now. Connected. Hey, it's Konami Date. Where are Konami you? Konami Date. Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. No. Criminal procedure law number 198. Shut up. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Then I'll arrest you. Tessa is an a suspect. As an accomplice. Damn According it. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? I will right now. Don't release her right now. You are violating the law. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here, and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. No, you're not. You're not gonna tell me everything. This kid is starting to get on my nerves. He's been on my nerves. So, what are you going to do? Shit. 
I don't care about how she's feeling, but I really want to know every single dialogue option. So, how are you feeling? I'm okay. Normal, I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? Yes. I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? So I know you're hiding something from me. Uh, head to Matsushita Diner. Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah, telepathically. Ooh, I'm I a have ghost. special powers. Anyway, let's go. I really need to change my avatar. Oh, I can't stand having Iris as my avatar. I haven't had time to draw though. Maybe this weekend, depending. We'll see. I'm either gonna change my avatar to be Date or Aiba. Thank you, Ota. Oh, I should turn auto off. It's thanks to you. Slap That's right. his It's not like face. you do whatever you want just because you're the police. Uh, I can if it's for the investigation. Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. I can tell when you're lying! Can I? A small sitting cushion. <laughs> hey, low table. I'm, I really need to look up the trophies and see if there's anything for observing all items, like, every single time. Beer ad on the wall. A loser. Wait, well, should I talk to her first or Ota? Maybe her first. Have you ever met his mother? Does she want to destroy you? Don't you have things to ask Ota? Shut your face. <laughs> Hurry up. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Is this your first time here? Why does that matter? Do you want me to leave? Yes, I hate you. <laughs> About that thing in the Nile message. Didn't I tell you? Ask Ota about it. Why can't you tell me about it? You're the person. <sighs> You're directly related to it. Oh, whatever. <sighs> I guess you bought a new cell phone. Yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. Akihabara. In Akiba. Where is your mother? She's in the living room in the back. Where's your father? I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? Oh yeah, so now I could beat you up without your mother knowing. <laughs> did I keep you waiting? I was nervous thinking about Tessa. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. What the heck? I'm not a weirdo like you, kid. As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. Wouldn't happen anyway. Yeah, thank you, Doctor. Oh, gosh. I wouldn't touch Iris. Oof. About that thing in the Nile message. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. Oh my gosh, I'm going to strangle you, kid. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... You better tell me the truth. Dante, will you do me a favor? No! What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, and... I want you to take a good look at it. He's gonna try to like knock me out in the back of the head and run off with Tessa. The I mean, photo. Iris. Yes, the photo. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be another like quick time thing. I knew it! Oh my gosh, now I can have you arrested. You physically attacked me! I hate these kids! That did, why would you fall for that? That's so stupid! No! Maka, I hate them! They're so annoying! Ah! Also, how you doing? I hope you've been well. Oh my gosh, can I strangle them? Ugh. My head is pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday. They're the best. No, they're the worst! You've been 
unconscious for nearly five Oh hours. my gosh, why would you take a look at the stupid photo as no, nothing to do to with Iris? He did. Oh my gosh. He struck you over the head with the walk. Also, sound's working for the game, right? I forgot to check before I started streaming. Ah, little bastard. Why did he do that? Oh, uh, to run away, duh. I don't know, but afterward, he ran off with Iris. How do you know? I saw them. It's not working? Consciousness, but I was still watching. Oh, the sound is working perfectly fine. You scared me, dude. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. <laughs> Tessa, wait. Uh, I'll get the car. What car? You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! She gonna attack the mom too? Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? No, everything's fine. Okay, let's go. She did something to the mom. Yeah, I can't. I can't move my. I can't move the camera. I'm trying to move the joysticks. Nothing. Why didn't you chase them? Cause your body was knocked out. I'm sorry. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. Oh, okay. <sighs> Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Ota's dead! The oh, just watch the video. The killer got Iris. Please say the killer device. got Iris. What if the killer got to Ota's mom? Because Iris is the killer! Oh, she's dead? Hooray! Woohoo! Iris. That's what you get for running away from me. Do I have to save her? Do I have to? I don't want to. <laughs> no, that's... Nice. Iba, the source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. Is the killer really Ota? I don't think it's, um, Ota's mom. Is it Ota's mom? Is it Ota's parents? I kept my foot to the gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. Palms sweaty, arms are heavy. Just vomit out a sweater already. Mom, spaghetti! Always gotta say that when I see sweaty palms. <laughs> the engine raised a high pitched scream, but I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached a long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. To what? She's still breathing. She's still alive. That sick bastard. It's a polar bear! <laughs> the polar bear's the killer! She's knocked out because her eye is gone, but she's still, like, pretty calm about it. She's not freaking out. Tessa! What the still I'll alive? Ota. Wait. What if... What if this is all a stunt pulled by Ota... Stay away from to be Tessa. like, look, I saved Tessa's life. Ooh, I solved a murder mystery. I'm the best. If this is Ota's Doctor, doing, I'm going to destroy him. Oh my please, gosh. Please let me make it in time. I don't care if I don't make it in time, honestly. 
<laughs> this may be the greatest night of my life. <laughs> Monday, 3.17 a.m. Oh no, he got stabbed. Shock. You okay? Don't ask him how he is! He hit you on the side of the head with a frying pan! Dante. Where did they go? Through the back door. Don't go! Don't follow them. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. After all you did to him, that day is still worried about you. You stupid kid! Sorry. Iris is alive. You stupid children. Backup is en route to this location. Date, pursue the culprit. All right, I'm on it. This is the same setup that was in Iris's. Somnium. My ear is itchy. What? How's it? The morning. Six hours passed. What happens? Is this the end? Any traces of the culprit? Still nothing. No, it's gonna we keep going. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. I still think Ota is orchestrating all of this. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Is there anyone else here? No. Boy band poster. <laughs> Boss. Um about Iris and Ota. They were taken to Central Hospital. Ota's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. He's stable. Nothing life-threatening. Curses. Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Iris lost an eye. Woohoo! Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed. Good. Because the optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to I'm complete. so mean. <laughs> uh, have you contacted Hitomi and Maimi? Of course. Hitomi is at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? Mayumi? She was at the oh hospital my gosh. earlier, oh! waiting for Ota to get out. Ah, oh, Regal, thanks for the resub! Game recognized game, you and looking kind of unfamiliar right now. Hmm? I look unfamiliar right now? How so? Also, you have a founder's badge too! Woohoo! I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's <gasps> hospital stay. Mess with that Date. quote. Oh. Last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Perhaps she knows something. Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. Oh, why do they call her Mayumi? Oh, oh. That's just wrong. About Okiyuda Fishery. Game recognized game, you're looking kind of unfamiliar that. right now. Ah, oh, I don't recognize that quote. Sorry. I am an old person. <laughs> yes, I have already done some research. Okiyura Fishery is owned by the Okiyura we know. Renju's father created the company. So this Another connection to Renju. still connected with Renju. No, actually. No. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. So who's running it? The congressman? Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was also dang by. My affiliate status has already been for a month now? Dang. So it's Time a goes by fast. It's from Boondocks? Location? Oh! I never watched Boondocks. I would like see it sometimes when I was um, channel surfing back when um, I still had cable TV. And I would watch clips of it, but I never watched a full episode. Unknown. Um, about Soul. 
So, Sejima? He was in Iris' Somnium yesterday. Being kissed by someone. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. That's where Sailor Moon lives. <laughs> um, has CSI found anything at the warehouse? It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Iba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. So many places I have to go. You two might be able to find some useful clues. Uh, I want to hear from a representative of Okiuda Fishery. They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the Okiura family, too. Okiura. Oh, speaking of. Hey, boss. Did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. Unless she left to so go Mizuki's looking for me home. again. And I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. Mama, just kill the man. I should go investigate. All right, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. Boss just crossed her legs like three times in that time span. Oh, I want to see my flowchart. Okay. So it's still going. Day four, Monday, you'll die. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to... Um... Let's just go in order. Cold storage warehouse. Ugh. Okay, there's no time, so I should be able to visit all places and have enough time Two to cars. investigate. These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. One van and one station wagon. One of them should be Ota's car, as he took it to drive. A cold storage warehouse became the scene of a horrible crime this morning. Okiyota Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. This station wagon is a stolen car. Stolen? Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. Ooh. It was stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. Famisto. The Famisto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was Why off. Why would you leave the car engine on while you're shopping? The doors That's might stupid. have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. What? Ota got into the car and drove off. Wait, what time were we at the diner last night? The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Ota's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Iris Correct. on the workbench. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. Enough time for him to set all this up! Because where could they have gone? The station wagon Ota stole. Van. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. So, Mayumi did follow us. No, she was. Yeah, this. Ota's fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. How does he have both cars here? Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Hmm. Those were the only prints recently made. 
So his mom didn't take this car here. I thought the mom would have followed them in the van. There was one thing. What was it? A knife! Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. No, I wanted to talk to the police officers. No, let me back. Let me go. Ah, oh, damn it. Should have talked with the police officers. Wow, it's cold in here. Burr. It's cold in here. The there must be some Toros in the atmosphere. I said, Burr. However, it's cold the in here. In the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. There must be some Toros in the atmosphere. To death. Well then, you had better get started. Lord! That must be Ota's blood. That's where he was stabbed and went down. But didn't die, damn it. An evidence marker. It's a little marker that's put up to track evidence at the scene. Hello, we see each other a lot, don't we? Yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. Kagami, this. Bet you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. Ooh, ooh. We could be boys and start something too. <laughs> yeah, ooh. thinking the same thing. Hello, let me talk to you again. Kagami. Uh, do you have a family? No, unfortunately, I live alone. Oh no. Oh. With a job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? Ooh, then you can meet all the dudes. Hey, now you're talking. You're buying, right? Sure, I'll expense it. I recorded that conversation. <laughs> I will be sending it to the boss later. No, I but we're just trying to have fun. Uh, on second thought, uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. We just want to be bros. Any clues? Uh, no, nothing so far. You always say nothing so far. What's your name? <laughs> Good one, Date. <laughs> Have I asked you before? Uh, yeah. Talk to me. Oh, wait, give me a second. Tell me your name. It's coming back to me. <laughs> like it's it has all something the same. to do with glass. <laughs> Where are you getting this from? I have a pretty unique name. What's your name? Do you remember now? Yeah, I think I've got it. It was three syllables. Something like... Oh, six letters long. You remember all that, but not my name? <laughs> What's your name? You still don't know. No, not yet, but I've almost got it. Three syllables, six letters... Kodaka. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Not even close. It's no, it's close. It starts with a K. What's your name? Do you want me to just tell you? No, no. G give me a hint. It starts with Ka. Starts with Ka. Three syllables, six letters. You're making this sound like a riddle. Kanata. Um. <gasps> Come on, man. Is it? Kaniza? Kaniza? Oh. Oh, that hurts my soul. Oh. Yeah, sure, man. That's my name. Oh, he said. What's your name? <laughs> His name is Kaniza. <laughs> Kaniza. Probably born between June 22nd and July 22nd. Oh, shoot. What? <laughs> what is it? Kagami, 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 Kagami. Kagami. Nope, he's just inspector. July 20th. Nope. His, he even got the birthday wrong. <laughs> ah. Anyways. What's your name? That's my friend, Kaniza. The inspector is doing his duties, as usual. Ah, shoot. Can't talk to him anymore. Um, Any progress on the investigation? I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. Look at all this stuff that's in here, though. You found something. Aren't you cold? Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. 
That keeps me warm. Nice, right? Yo, give me one. All the cops and inspectors around here are wearing. Give them. me one. I hate being cold. A police officer. Shelves with boxes. Shelves packed with cardboard boxes. I asked the cop on the scene, and he said there wasn't anything special in them. There's a dark spot over there. The shadows on the left catch my eye. Shadow. Ah, this is creepy! Night vision! There's a square object! There's something there. You should go pick it up. Gimme! Huh. I recognize this. Is it Oto's wallet? An Odoroki Man chocolate. Odoroki Man? Huh? You've been collecting them for three years. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually, you got hooked on them. I feel that I can't remember people's names to save my life. Yeah, there's a joke from a comedian. It's like, I'm not great with names, but I'm great with faces. It's like, yeah, everyone's great with faces. That's a face. That's a face. <laughs> yeah, names are generally hard to remember. I feel you. I'm totally understandable. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why is this here? Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. You've got to find a second paw print. That's not the clue. You put it in your notebook because it's blues, clues, blues, clues. I can't see well in the dark. Is there any... Can we observe it again? No, it's gone. Never mind. Uh, door... Overhead crane. A hook is hanging from the ceiling crane. Mm, anything down here? There's a cardboard box on the floor. There's nothing in it. Snake! Shelves. Shelves? There are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? For real. I can't find any leads on the shelf. But there's an A and a B and a C. A, B, C. Um, forklift? Fork, forklift. A forklift. I don't see anything special about it. This forklift. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. So this warehouse hasn't been in use for a long time. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Why would they come to this warehouse then? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. The forklift has stopped. It looks like it hasn't been moved in years. I don't know if this has anything to do with what happened this morning. Work bench. Ooh, that ice cutting machine. machine. Is used to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Any fingerprints? Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. This entire warehouse is clean. I see. But well, Ota touched the ice cutting machine. Like his prints should be on it. It's been here a while, so it hasn't moved. Uh, workbench. 3 a.m. this morning. Iris was lying right here. If Ota hadn't come to save her, it would have been too late. This is the workbench Iris is lying on. I can't find any clues here. Equipment. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. How'd you get internet in here? All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine Probably with cash too, that. so we can't trace them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. How does this warehouse have Wi-Fi? Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. <sighs> oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Have we really? Let's go elsewhere. I agree. No! A video camera and laptop used for the stream. We probably can't find a culprit with these though. Really? There's nothing left? Yeah, there's nothing left. Okay. Then we go to Matsushita Diner. Mm. 
Matsushita Diner. Um, uh, who might you be? We've met. It's me, Konami Date. We met yesterday. I gave you my card. Oh. So, how can I help you? What if the mom really is the killer? Uh. About that photo. Oh, this? As Maimi spoke, she toned. Ah, she turned the photo toward me. This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. Can you make out the dad's face at all? I'm trying to figure out what is happening. Is that... Is that a mustache? And his mouth? Is that his eyes? What is happening? I wanted to look at it again. I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Oda. Is that a hat he's wearing? What is What's happening with his face? They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But they were always smiling. They were so kind. I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. I think the mom's going crazy. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So they gave me this apron and a kitchen knife. No, that story still checks out. She said that Ota gave her the night for Mother's Day. Or was it for her birthday? Oh, I was so happy. No, it was for Mother's Day. I was crying and smiling and... That's what this photo is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but... Isn't it such a nice photo? No, the dad's face creeps me out. Yes, that's very nice, Mayumi. Um, where is your husband? Oh, who knows? Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. Finally. His name is Matsushita. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that is his face! <gasps> ah! He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. He is dead. So the mom's going crazy. That's probably why Ota is so obsessed with Iris because he's like, I gotta have something that takes me away from my sad, depressing life. What? What is going on here? About last night. Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. No, you weren't. You were sleeping? Ota said you were watching TV. That can't be. Wait, no, she came out! The mom is crazy. The m Ota. <gasps> Unless Iris, like, did something to her to erase her he memory left the or diner something. To chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? Not both your eyes? Uh, well. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. I was She's asleep. compromised. I was dreaming. She's compromised. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. What kind of dream? Inception! It was when my bah, son had just bah, started elementary school. Bah, I had bah. overrun an errand for me. He was taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. What? But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. That 
boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. Are there really lights like that? I mean, someone would have had to come and push the button, and he could have walked with them. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. No, he's not. He's not honest. He I hit me on the side of the head with a frying pan. I agree. Um, about the Ororoki Man chocolate. I don't know why I would ask her about it, but... Just to be sure, I decided to ask Mayumi about the Ororoki Man chocolate I found at the warehouse. I took it out of my pocket to show her. Do you know anything about this chocolate? Oh, you like Ororoki Man? Yes, actually. I was hooked on them at one point. My Ota loves them too. Tororoki Man from My Hero Academia. Ha 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 ha. When he was younger, he used to collect all the stickers. He was the best at it. Are you done packing? Packing? What are you talking about? Ota's in the hospital. I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? My boy's fine. She's crazy. She's crazy. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. He's not in his room! Date, I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? She's a robot. She's not real. Whoa, we see her brain! Do you see it? Part of her brain is blue. All of her brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. She has Alzheimer's? For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering Dementia! Dementia. Six years she has dementia. Her, de her husband dies... Died five years ago, so one year after she got dementia. Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. I feel like it's all connected somehow with, with Date's accident. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that's where those weird comments are coming from. Oh my gosh, this is like Memento! Iris did some Memento nonsense to Mayumi. To be like, don't follow us. Can she run a diner like that? It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Eight years! Matsushita Diner is near the Kabasaki district. It is not technically within the restricted area. But it's close enough that people don't go anymore? However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then, naturally... Does Mayumi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Yes. That's so sad. I can't believe it. Still doesn't excuse Ota for being a jerk! Well, is that all? I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. It's not dinner time. Mayumi stood and went to the kitchen. Date, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. You're right. I need some mementos for my breath. <laughs> the pink mentos are the best flavor. Pink mentos are the best out of all the mentos. Pink starburst are the best. For Skittles, it's green. That's the best. Sejima residence. How did you get in? 
through the door. Hopped over the fence. Or the fence. <laughs> That's trespassing, you know. Your garden is ugly. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. You shouldn't feed bread comes to birds. It kills them. That's a big boss ball. No, actually, it's a well manicured tree. It must be it's a topiary. Topiary? Topiary? It's not a big moss ball. <laughs> Woo! Let's examine the entire garden. A garden stone. A garden tree. <laughs> ah. Another garden stone. A garden rock. A garden sky. A garden mansion. This is actually my residence. A garden lantern. Eh! <laughs> really a garden lantern? Mm -hmm. Well, that is strange. What is strange? Why is Reka from the Cabaret Club over there? What? That's a lantern. It doesn't look anything like her. What? <laughs> she thought it was a person? There's a garden lantern. There's a garden skyline. There's a garden pond. Look, Iva. A giant salamander. That's a koi fish. Mr. Sejima is a wealthy man. Never mind, it's a salamander. Perhaps it is his pet. Really? Where's a salamander? I don't see a salamander, they lied. There are many koi in the pond, as well as a salamander. There's a small island in the center of the pond. Uh, anything else of note? Let's talk to you, dude. Mr. Bodyguard? Um, do you know Iris? No. It's this girl. I showed him the picture of Iris I had. Cute. What was that? Uh, nothing. You're preying on little girls! You just said cute, didn't you? I did not. <laughs> you did. Did not. You think she's cute. I did. I said shoot. <laughs> Why would you say shoot? Look, I said I don't know her, alright? Because she's underage and I can't go after her. <laughs> What's your boss's relationship with the Kumakudas? I don't know anything. You're a terrible bodyguard. Even if I did, I couldn't tell you. Now you're a good bodyguard. I'm sworn to confidentiality. Snitches get stitches. About Saw's alibi. Congressman Sejima was at home all Friday and Saturday. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom, resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. No, Iba, it's not. Are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several, but for some reason, they are all powered off. <gasps> bum, bum, ba -da! There is no image data for the past few days. Dun, dun, da -da! Really? That's too suspicious to ignore. Or someone's trying to frame him, and that's why they turned it off. The bodyguard is standing completely still, emotionless. Uh, the mouth movement looks super off. I would prefer they didn't move at all. I know, I wish it would just be the portraits, because it's not, like, timed right. I don't know if they timed it for the Japanese dialogue, but it's just like, ah, oh, it's awkward. Please don't do it. Either do it perfectly or don't do it at all. Um, Do you know Iris? I don't. Who is that? I showed her the picture of Iris I had. This girl. Do you recall seeing her? No, I've never seen her. Then why would he be in her somnium? I detect no noticeable rise in So's body temperature. Mm -hmm. This guy's a politician. Lying is his job. Oh, snap. Well, true. Uh, where were you at 3 a.m. this morning? Here, sleeping, of course. Why? What happened? Did you not see the news? <laughs> no, I've been reading a book. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. About your connection with the Kumakuras. I told you yesterday. My relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. Hey, Aiba. You were still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. Oh, we can continue that later. What? Why not now? 
Are you finished here? No! I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So Sejima has Give nothing me a million to do dollars. Please. It's my job to decide that, not yours. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna have to force you out of here. I didn't want to get rough. <laughs> but if I need to, I'll feed you to the koi. And I'll feed you to the salamander. I'd like to see you try. Date, he's not all talk. What? Check his body. Check out his body! Soul is feeding the koi in the pond. Let's check him out. X-ray. <gasps> it's a gun! This guy is a handgun. It is, of course, real and loaded. You're... It's really hard to get guns in so Japan. you're carrying, huh? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. Unless he has an actual license. I don't know what you're talking about. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. Then what's that in your front pocket? I know that you do. You got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh yeah? How? You need a warrant for that. <sighs> Are you finished? If you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Girl. I don't believe we can accomplish anything further here. Well then what 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 the heck was the point of coming here? For us to return to HQ. This is why I hate politicians. I hate politicians too. Central Hospital. <laughs> I'm getting so sleepy. Uh... I haven't even been streaming an hour a day. Central Hospital. What's okay? her name? Hitomi. Date. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris' surgery was successful. They told me she would be fine. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders. So She's just gonna be just missing an relaxed. eye. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. She better not get a, like, a fake eyeball like Aiba. Yeah, the nurse told me. Just walk around with a pirate patch. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. Oh, Iris isn't here. Uh -huh. Bathroom. I could see a toilet in there. You can? I can't. Whoa, I'm really tall. Look, I'm above my eye level is above the bathroom door. A cupboard. A curtain used as a divider. Peekaboo. Pardon me? When Iris was little, we used to play hide and seek. Seeing that curtain made me think about it. Window. To the window! To the wall! There's a bedside table. Wait, there's a TV behind her head. There's an LCD TV on top of the bedside table. A curtain used as a divider. A bed! Equipment used for monitoring vital signs. It measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on the monitor. Uh, oh shoot, my eyes are itchy. Okay. Don't want to talk to her quite yet. Sink. Um. Damn it. Okay, now I'm gonna have to talk to her. Wait, a chair! Chair! A round chair. Okay, um. Your eyes are arching. No, they're itchy. Let's see. About Iris. Oops, she... I hit my mic. Ah! Oh, okay. Iris lost her left eye. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. Would they really be able to? <sighs> but I'm thankful she's alive. 
when also I they're like I, she's missing an eye but she still has her eyelid <laughs> i lost someone very important to monica me. eli my best friend one of the only friends i had while i was waiting for news from iris's surgery i i started thinking about monica i hope the mic deserved it <laughs> no mike does a good job it doesn't deserve to be beat up but I accidentally hit it. Uh -huh. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. That must have been very painful. Yes. About Ota. I am so thankful for Ota. If he didn't knock me out in the first place, they never would have gone to the warehouse. Uh Words don't even do it justice. Now he's gonna be like, let me marry Iris because I saved her life. Oh, just saved Ugh. Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. If Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night. I Ooh! I accidentally pressed X. Really she wasn't done with her dialogue. Whoopsies. Don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. Um, do you know anything about Iris and So? So, Sejima, the politician? Yes, we believe they might know each other. I don't think so. About your alibi. Hitomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about... all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect to tell me? Not necessarily, but... About Ota, again. Ota was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Strong sense of justice, but he made all that imaginary clout on Twitter about Iris. That <sighs> not that I'm one to say, but <sighs> I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. No, he's a jerk. He risked his own life to save someone else. His mother must have raised him well. I don't trust him. Say goodbye. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. <sighs> No, it's fine. I should go. Okay, now we're going to face the wrath of Mizuki. Hey, Mizuki, could you take a break? She's lifting weights? Wait, how many? 25 kilograms? I want to ask you something. So, 25 kilograms on both sides. That's like 50 kilograms. She's benching almost 100 pounds. Holy crap. Wait, there's four of them. She's benching 100 kilograms. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Don't forget the bar. Yeah, I don't even know how much the bar weighs. Can't interact with anything here. There's only one bed? The heck? But we both live here. Uh. <laughs> wow! Look at all of our clothes. There's a pipe. Why does she have a pipe? Mizuki... You're mad at me, aren't you?
Where's the officer who dropped you off? <laughs> About Ota and Iris. About the fishery? Apologize to Mizuki. Listen, I get it. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang. The Kumakuras. Remember Mama said Renju had some connection with them? So I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? Also, she should not be with the lifting weights without anyone spotting her. That's super dangerous. I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. You're a 12 year old child. You don't have any weapons. They would kill you in an instant. Girls shouldn't talk like that. That's awfully sexist of you. This is why no one thinks you're attractive. I'm attractive. <laughs> uh huh. Keep telling yourself that. That's why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. My girlfriend is a ninja. No, she's just hiding in the shadows. <laughs> sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? Now I can ask you stuff? Now I can interact with everything. The bar is like a solid 35 pounds. The weights are 29? Oh, I thought they said 25. The weights are real iron. The total weight is 220 pounds! Ah! Not that I can actually bench that. And yet Mizuki's benching it? What the heck? She's lifting. Oh, yeah. She, she's a beast! Damn! There's a chair next to the desk. A desk! A trash can! A small filing cabinet. I keep a bunch of documents there. Oh, I put the notice from your credit card company in there. I keep a bunch of documents that I don't want to open in there. <laughs> You watch weird videos when I'm not around, don't you? What are you talking about? Weird videos? Something about cuckoldry? Oh... No, 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 no. Those are husbandry videos. Uh... <laughs> you know, like... Uh, animal husbandry? Uh, raising livestock. Oh my gosh, cuckoldry. Anyway, don't touch my computer without permission. What? <laughs> I know, right? Ah! A PC. My hard drive is full of... Animal husbandry videos. <laughs> sure it is. Corkboard. There's a corkboard on the wall. The speakers themselves are actually mostly hollow. Four years ago, Mizuki used to hide in them to scare you, didn't she? Yeah. And I would scold her every time. She hasn't done such childish things lately. Good news for me. You think so? I imagine that a part of you actually misses it. Large speakers. The insides are mostly hollow. A one-seater sofa. A rug! A three-seat sofa I also use as a bed. Oh, so this is where he sleeps. I've been sleeping here for four years. Mizuki took over my bed. That can't be good for your back if you're sleeping on a sofa. There's a three-seat sofa in the center of the room. A coffee table. The top is glass. Eh. Eh, eh, audio equipment. Audio equipment for an audio file. Uh, is that it here? I guess so. It's Ador Rabbit, a stuffed rabbit, Adora bit. It's a character Misuki likes. I guess there's no point getting into it. It's Adora bit. Adora bit. Adora bit. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. Light. There's a bra hanging from the ceiling. What? No wait, just lighting equipment. Oh, is that a bra- What? Just lighting. A bed. Mizuki sleeps there every night. Uh, the entrance. Hey Mizuki, could you get rid of the Cleone in there? Aw, do I have to? Yes. If it were just one or two, I'd let it slide, but there's a hundred in there. It's not my fault, they started breeding. Oh my gosh, what? My refrigerator. It's packed with beer, food, and a bunch of Cleone. What's Cleone? But 
It's a pot. A kitchen! There are seasonings and cooking equipment lying around. Anything else I can examine? Music is closed and mine are hanging on the rack. We each have basically one outfit. That's because we're rational people. <laughs> I don't want to waste my precious time and brain power thinking about what clothes to wear every day. A lot of successful bus uh, businessmen and scientists do it. Okay, honestly, Music and I do have other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. My clothes and Mizuki's. Rack. Clothes are hanging on the rack. They're mine and Mizuki's. Hey, could you stop hanging your clothes next to mine? Where else am I supposed to hang them? Why? Your old people smell is going to get all over them. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I do like older women. Date, I don't think that is what she's talking about. Ha 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 ha. Clothes are hanging on the rack. A big window! Musuki's favorite metal pipe. I have no idea what she uses it for. Musuki's favorite metal pipe by the wall. A backpack! It looks small on Musuki now. Four years ago when I bought it for her, it looked so big on her back. Musuki's school backpack. I mean, he has good taste, but what the heck? <laughs> This game has its silly moments. Okay, let's talk to Mizuki for real now. Um, where's the officer who dropped you off? Where's the officer who dropped you off? I told her to go home. I said I would call her to check in. Okay. And have you? Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? It's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? <laughs> I thought you were more into small <gasps> boobs, pervert. I like big boobs too. Oh my god. I suppose you are what they call a tit man. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, this game. About Ota and Iris. I saw the video. The one at 3 a.m. last night. Ota is amazing. No, he's not. I'm changing my mind about that guy. No, he or I Iris feel like Ota he orchestrated it, okay. this whole thing. They'll both live. Like when Iris said, um, don't tell him about it. Yeah, I won't tell him about that thing. I think they're both planning something. Really? Yeah. They're up to shenanigans. <sighs> Thank God. About Okiura Fishery. Okiura Fishery is a company grandpa made. I don't think daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else is running that company now. They aren't family. Uh, what kind of person was your grandpa? I never met him. He died before I was born. But daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? Back when grandpa was in great grandma's tummy, she was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. She had to have the baby out on the ocean. On the ocean? Yup. And then, Grandpa was raised by dolphins! Huh? <laughs> by the time he was ten, he was catching fish with his bare hands. And then, Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. Oh my gosh. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishery. <laughs> Sounds like a tall tale. Yeah, Grandpa was a legend. <laughs> All the fishermen and sailors respected him. That can't be true. But there's a part of me that's thinking, maybe. After all, Misaki herself seems superhuman. I believe her grandpa was an incredible man. Say goodbye. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? I have to continue the investigation, so... <laughs> was it? Wait, you're leaving me again? I'm coming with you. No. Just let her come with you. Why? I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. Oh yeah, true. There's guns and knives and stuff. It's okay, I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? You were the one who knew how special I was before anyone. Flashback? It was one year ago. I noticed something strange when Misaki came home from school. Hey, what happened? 
Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. And they teased me. And I got mad and... You beat them all up. I told them to go away and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. What? I'm gonna teach you how to kick their asses. <laughs> We're starting right now. Get ready. But how does she bench 220 pounds? Why the shrine? The shrine is the perfect place for special training. I lift weights, by the way, the highest I ever lifted was 90. That's still a lot. That's a lot of weight. What? Aiba, you are useless. Adult intervention is important in this situation. For real! Like, let the other adults know, like, hey, your kids are beating up my kid. Back off. It is. You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. Sure, whatever. First, I'm going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Follow these four rules, and you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Date, are you playing a character or something? <laughs> I'm not Date. While we're in training, I am Master. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Tree! A Shinto shrine. It looks rather solemn. Uh, Mokujin. A trading dummy. Boku, 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 boku. Uh, what else is around here? Anything special? Chozuya. Hey, Date. What's that? It's a Chozuya. Chozuya. This is where you wash your belly button in the sacred water before you visit the shrine. No, you wash your hands! Belly button? Yes, absolutely. In Shinto, the belly button is said to be the dirtiest place. That is why, before praying, you have to cleanse yourself. I see. My belly is holy. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. <laughs> Date, I wish you wouldn't lie to her while she's impressionable. Your story about the belly button is wrong. She trusts you, you know. <laughs> She'll catch on eventually. She will hate you when she finds out the truth. Atosia, you wash your hands and face here. Definitely not your belly button. Uh, there was an arch. The arch. What does it say? Monument. When riding an elevator. Mashing the door close button doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> That's what it says. You're lying. Aren't you? Yes, he is. A stone monument. There's something engraved here, but I can't read it. Lantern! Lantern. Hey, lantern! I think I prefer interns. Ha ha ha. A lantern. That sh oh no more stuff. Guardian dog statue. That was it. Um, the offering box. Hey Mizuki, do you have any fishing line and gum? Hey everybody, there's a thief over here. <laughs> no stealing allowed. Uh, sacred straw rope. Hey Date, what's this? It's called a sacred straw rope. In kanji, it's written as pour and linking rope. That's because in ancient China, rope that had water poured on it was used as an amulet to protect from evil. Aww. Hey, you asked. Uh, my eye feels crusty. Uh. Oops. I think sacred star rope. Sacred star rope. Damn it, I thought there was more. Okay, that should be everything. Let's talk with Bisuki. 
Ooh, the key to victory is to kill the heart. Mental preparation is important. Your everyday life is of dire importance. Being quick to act is crucial. That is super important. JK, I, Mizuki, I've relifted was 70. You know win any fight I've seen people lift much higher than I lifted. Yo, 70 is still a lot. That's like lifting a small child above your head. It's crazy. Um, don't get in a fight in the first place? That is a respectable answer. But no. The way to win any fight is this. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. I kind of get it, but... Of course, I'm not saying that's how you should behave. But thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Yeah, okay, I get it, but... Seriously, Date, are you, like, acting or something? Not Date, Master. <laughs> I am Master! Oh, I have- oops, I have to do all of these. Mental preparation- uh, no, your everyday life is of dire importance. You should live every what? day. Why? The best now you make me feel weaker? Why? Is to be 70 is still a lot life. of weight to lift. I like that fighting style. One Punch Man. <laughs> I need to catch up on that. Diet and exercise form a strong body. And sleeping well. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. I get it. Also practicing. But you're so messy. Does that mean you can't fight? Hark. The blowing of the wind through the trees. <laughs> You can't just say something cool to avoid my question. Um, mental preparation is important. In a fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Punch Man Season 2 is terrible. The fights are boring and the art is lame. Oh, that sucks, because in Season 1, the animation and art style was super awesome. Like, thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. I mean, that's why I'm kind of looking forward to Boku no Hero Academia Season 4. I do the same because their art and animation is really good. Club. Also, I'm really looking forward to the next story arc. Before I go in, if I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. The mental fight has what? begun the moment I put my hand on the door. Yeah, I see. Actually, no, that's stupid. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Like, when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? No, yes. It's the opposite. No! Go aim for their heart to make sure they you fully must die. You kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. If you have even a mote of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target, a punching bag, or a board. Just a punching what bag. What does all of this have to do with huh. how Mizuki is like now? Anyway, practice these four truths. What? And you will get stronger. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> this sounds like a scam. Believe in me. Believe in the you me who believes say, in you. You'll be thanking me in time. Are you sure? And how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? Punch the rock! Oh. Uh, let's see. How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. Send it flying. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. <laughs> then, punch forward! Oh, <laughs> that face! <laughs> oh, wait, no. I missed it. How is that? Wait, wait, wait. I need to save that. Save that clip. Save video clip. Just so I can save the screenshot later. Um. 
You don't have to be nice. I know I'm weak. <laughs> They're speechless. Hey, by the way, did you swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. You should have! There were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I suppose not. Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Really? But never ever. <laughs> that Don't hit me. <laughs> she lifted 250 yeah, pounds. Right. <laughs> she is also a fictional character. In fact, you're so strong, you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. We don't know if you're bulletproof or not. Why not? Because... Also, how is she this freakishly strong? I took responsibility for you. Like, I she's super energy. smart, she's super strong. Is she not human? No, she has a thermal reading. No, wait, we didn't find her by thermal reading. We found her by x-ray reading. Bringing daddy. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. Hmm. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know when the time comes. Mm -hmm. Really? I kind of yes. want to bring her along with me now, though, because she's so strong. She can promise? punch everyone. I promise. She's one punch girl. Let's go, Iva. Where to? Where are we going? Abyss her Abyss headquarters. Why do I want to keep wanting to say Abyss? Abyss headquarters. Boss, talk to me. Before we reach HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. Man, I haven't done any, like, Somnium stuff. It's just all been... So what do we think we know? Boo. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Um, about Mayumi first. Mayumi is suffering from dementia. If Mayumi followed Ota and How come Iris... we didn't go see Ota in the hospital? We just went and saw Hitomi. It is highly likely that she saw the person. Oh my gosh, is he told me he told me because that means one eye depending on which kanji you use. Oh my gosh. But she might not remember. Correct. About Mizuki. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Hmm. Still, something's not right. About Sol. There is only circumstantial evidence. Is this game going to explode with stuff happening at the end? Really boring so far. I feel like that's the... That's generally the pacing with all of this director's games. It's just like, oh, stuff happened. Okay, now what, now what, now what, now what? And then at the end, it's just gonna be like, boom, in your face. So I'm just waiting for that to come out. So I don't know how many days there are. I agree, but there has to be more In to one, it. like, line, in one flow. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. I so wonder if there's a full walkthrough out for this game yet. <laughs> kind of want to see so if I could do everything blind, though. Yeah. Also, someone was kissing him! About So. I am more interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. Is So trying to start trouble? 
unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. Of course there is. Any other information? There is an important piece of news. What is it? Ota is dead. The Odoroki man chocolate Damn it. warehouse. <laughs> Fingerprints were found on it. Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. What? The pacing of this game feels so weird. It really does. Cause in the beginning it was like, oh, Somnium. Okay, little investigation. Murder, Somnium, and now it's just like, hey, let's just talk to all these people. So it definitely, like, Maybe kind of petered out. At the convenience store I mean, I've only played the Zero Escape Ocean. series from this guy, and those didn't seem so boring at the start. Yeah. I mean, the bo beginning of this wasn't, you know, too bad either. It's like, oh, look, a murder. Let's investigate. But it's just that this game doesn't have the sense of urgency that Zero Escape does. This was because we're not being timed damage. on anything or anything. 812 stores are commonly called eights. Ha! 7 Eleven! Did you know that 7 Eleven is actually a Japanese Ace company? Is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Please. Famisto! The chocolate was purchased yesterday. Is Bami still supposed to be like Family Mart? That's the same time oh Ota gosh. stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. Thank All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an eight store last night. She bought the chocolate at the store. But there are no fingerprints found on the cars that were parked by the warehouse. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Unless... Unless Ota drove off with Iris, went to the warehouse first. No, he can't have driven back because... And picked Mayumi up in a different car. Because how would he have walked all the way back from the warehouse? Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Well... Or... Was Mayumi the one in the polar bear costume? But still, how did she get there? Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Yes. Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. Also, the pacing of the story might be a little slow because I examine every single object in a room before I actually talk with the people. So, that might have something to do with it. Alright. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Time to go to the hospital! Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. No? Okay. Well, I feel like because these are different kinds of stories, like the Zero Escape series was like, hey, escape from this place or die. And this one's more like of a slow burn. Like, ooh, like we're not thrown smack dab into the middle of an urgent situation, but it's just that? like we're taking this one little thread and we're pulling it out and then seeing how everything unravels. You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. Do you escape? You could examine everything and it's still fun. Mm -hmm. I'm still under anesthesia. I mean, some of the so dialogue here when you examine stuff is pretty fun, too. The characters were a lot more interesting and funny. That I definitely agree with. All right, that's good. Like, I, there wasn't... No, there were two people I hated in the Zero Escape series out of everyone. I didn't really hate anyone in 999. In um, Virtue's Last Reward, I hated Dio. In Zero Time Dilemma, I hated Carlos. No, was it Carlos? Uh, the boyfriend of the girl. I hated him. But yeah, those are the only two guys I've ever hated. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a in minute? In this game, I hate Ota and Iris <laughs> so much. 
Boss got right to business after introducing herself. I don't know why, but Opal seems almost happy to answer. He- it's because he orchestrated this! He's finally the center of attention! He's getting love and recognition that he couldn't really get from his mom. I hate him. Maybe it was the drugs, maybe it was the high from surviving a life or death situation. Or maybe it was because he saved Iris. Yeah, sure. Is it a bedside table when you move it away from the bed? I suppose then it's just a table. LCD TV. Hey, Date. When are you planning on leaving? Hey, kid, when do you want me to slap you in the face? The good stuff is gonna come on soon. You're not watching that tonight. There's an LCD TV on top of the bedside table. A bedside table. On the bedside. <laughs> A round chair. A window! Whoops. Uh, curtains? Window? No. Bed. A cupboard. A curtain used as a divider. Equipment used for monitoring vinyl signs. It measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on a monitor. A bed! Hey, Date? I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. Tough cookies, deal with it. Will you sleep with me? Hells no! Why me? Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Old woman? Oh, she gonna kill you. A bed. Um, okay. Let's talk with boss first. Um, did you find any new clues? If I did, I would have told you already. Uh, why did you come here? I'm kind of interested in Ota. In me? In what you know. You protected the woman you love. That's not easy to do. <laughs> if you really love them, it's pretty easy. I wanted to meet the brave little hero. Hero? Ooh, yeah, butter him up so he'll spill all the beans. Little? I'm 24. You're a brat. To me, you're still little. Anything you want to ask Ota? I'll leave this to you, Date. Boss is standing on the other side of the bed. Okay, um... About the walk! Oh yeah. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? But oh, what uh, are you talking about? Was... I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Nope. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. It's okay. It's not okay. But you're not gonna get a second chance. I'm still bitter. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. Oh, shoot. Uh, sorry. I have to take a phone call. Um, be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, and thank you for your patience. Um, wait, the character's a lot more interesting and funny. I returned that game, I couldn't play, it was too different. Returned which game? Um, Zero Time Dilemma, the last game? <laughs> what kind of crap is that? Will you sleep with me? <laughs> He's just a scared little boy. Where did I go? I turned around for one second. I had to take a phone call. But I'm back! You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. Also, why would he swear to Ganesha? That's a more Indian Hindu god. They're in Japan. Uh, did you hear about Iris? Her surgery was successful, right? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. It's as normal as garlic and ramen. Really don't like this kid. I think that depends on preference. Honestly, I'll, and honestly, garlic is power. good in anything. So, what? When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. Oh, to shut up. He saw how strong I was and got scared. No doubt. And that's why he stabbed you. Ota's body temperature is rising. He's lying. He's embellishing his story quite a bit. I think we can let that go today. Yeah, you're right. Who stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? It wasn't on TV. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Oh, you think? Wow, this kid's a genius. About that thing on Nile. That's... Tell me, or else I will push on your wound. <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. I'm gonna smack this kid's face. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is gonna come crashing down. No, it won't, because I saved her life! <sighs> but I can't tell you. I'm going to strangle you. Why not? Look me in the eye, Calm you down idiot. and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Wait, about the Ororoki Man chocolate. I took the chocolate out of my pocket and showed it to Ota. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? No, I don't. This kid hides everything. I hate him. <sighs> He's saying it for the dum dums that play this game and don't know that. Uh... <laughs> What happened to that girl in pink? Um, her left eye got gouged out. So she had to go into surgery to- for the, um, To save her life, basically, so that she doesn't bleed out. You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Absolutely. What happened after you- wait, about that thing, tell me about it. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. Oh, you think? What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because something happened after.
Wait, before all my dialogue options get exhausted, I wanna... No. No, let's just keep finding out about that thing. This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Whoa! You surprised me! I'm more surprised than you are! Is something wrong? Why are you driving his car? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? No! Oh, yeah, of course I do! Not have one. You don't have a license? Shh! Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. Why would he ask you? Why can't he ask his assistant or something? Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. Oh gosh. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. What time was this at? That's what I meant by that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. Is that really it? Uh, keep asking about that thing. Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? This is something really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. She could have staged this! Iris Why do you guys not consider that possibility? Possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? What happened after you left Matsushita Diner? You mean after... Hitting you with the walk? Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. Then when did you have time to steal the other I car? I the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. And then she out of the car drove off? And I went inside. But then, I heard Tessa screaming. Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could, but the car was driving away! I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. But Iris's fingerprints were only found on the passenger side. Ota's was on the steering wheel of the van. I didn't mean to steal it! So that means the person could have already been dressed up as a polar bear and took her? I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. That after stealing the station wagon. I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police. I thought... After I hit you, you're a dumb idiot. You shouldn't have worried. A person about that. went missing. Yeah. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. This kid really is an idiot. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. You're a terrible person. You leave a 12 year old girl at a murder scene. You don't call the cops when someone gets kidnapped. You're a freaking idiot. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. 
after running into the warehouse. Why were the chocolates there? Did you with see your me mom's fingerprints. Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. What else went blank? I remember rushing the bear. Wait, you have a mind to go blank? I thought your mind was empty because you're stupid. And I think I was fighting him for a while. <sighs> and we got tangled up. And then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. We didn't see a knife at the crime scene, right? His mom loves the knife that he got for her for Mother's Day. Ooh. Uh, well, I assume that much, but was her eye stabbed? I probably they didn't show how her eye was taken out. Um, when the stream started, she was already on the table, tied up, a saw running, and her eye was gone. Why was her eye stabbed? We we don't know. The identity of the polar bear. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? Is he lying to us again? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I don't believe you! After all the times you lied to me! I can't think of anything else. <sighs> Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. He's lying! After all this, what is he trying to hide? That his mom was there. Maybe Ota, Iris told her, hey, strange. if you want to save Ota, follow us. Or do something. I advise caution. What do you mean? I'm gonna strangle him! X-ray. Is he texting on- He has a knife. I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. Shoot his head. So that he's gone forever. So we can't mess anything else up. <clears throat> Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! What, are you gonna stab yourself again? Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. We're gonna go into his mind! Oh, you can still get information... ...inside his head. When he's not lying to us and being an annoying idiot! I hate this kid. I hate- I'm messed up. How am I messed up? This kid's messed up. I hate him! Ah! After everything that's happened so far, he still can't tell us the truth. He still doesn't know how to think rationally. He's a freaking idiot. He's 24 years old. He should know better. sure this is okay? Just torture him? I really wish I could. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But- I don't care if anything bad happens to him. Let him suffer. Just get it done. Ugh. Good enough for me. It's like this kid doesn't realize that there's like real life consequences consequences for his actions. And he's just like, oh no, I'm gonna hide this information. Um, I'm gonna hit you on the side of the head. Um freaking idiot. I hate him. Hmm. <sighs> Let's go. Let's mess his mind up. Wait, I can't mess his mind up. I can only see his dream. This freaking sucks. Oh, I'm Tiny Iba. Can you please take me with you? What? Where? As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. This kid's a loser. Sorry, we can't have pets. Cold-hearted old man. Is this a cold storage warehouse? Seems to be. Not a manga cafe? Or an otaku shop? 
No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. He wants to be manly. I see. By the way, are you smaller? Either that, or everything else is bigger. Interesting. Because Ota sees himself as a little hey, insignificant what's... piece of dust? Because he is. He's useless. Iris is about to be... Oh no, I should go save her. Stop right there! The heavens call, the earth cries out, the crowds roar! All calling on me to strike back against evil! Hold on, Tessa! I will save you! This kid really deserves a couple of slaps across the face. Don't forget your meds. Oh shoot, it's that time already? Ooh! Oh my gosh. I don't want to see you, kid. Uh, is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Oto's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. Alright, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan! Activate! Activate! Which path am I gonna go down now? How many memory locks are in this place? Mental locks, I mean. One. Two. Three. Oh, I hate you so much. Four mental locks, okay. Relive Ota's memories. Reproduce the fiery battle between Ota and the polar bear. Save Iris, save the world. Curse you, polar bear. Save the cheerleader. Save the you. world. But if I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall. Oh no, poor baby. Shut up. Like this. Why is he in here? Like no one else was in their somnium. Why is he here? Are we supposed to like this character? I don't think so. I think he's supposed to be to a loser that nobody likes. What will I, do? <laughs> I was just like, what the f? I don't know what that was exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. Okay, icy floor. That is a ice block. Heated insulated door. Insulation door. Ice cutting machine. Iris. What was mental log number? Mental log number one was the floor. Unless I can examine the polar bear. I can't. Okay. Icy floor. Icy floor? The ice on the floor is slick. <laughs> Jump! Punch! Lie down. Okay, I don't have any um, timer things yet. Maybe punch? I'm gonna punch. This is for Dante! Well that did nothing. This is for Dante! <laughs> this is for Dante! What did the ice do to me? <laughs> Those who don't fight won't survive! Ice removed, hooray. Now which path do I go on? Ooh. Skip this! I don't care about him! Damn! He's too strong! It sucks! But this Mizuki, is- Mizuki, please give him a good punch. You can totally destroy him. That looks really weird. 
I did not think punching the ice would work. Yeah, I didn't think it would work at first. But then she kept punching it and it cracked, so I'm like, okay, good. Also, hey, Skeleton, how you doing? Thanks for joining. It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. <sighs> Shining the light, escort him to the green shelf. Shining light, escort him to the red shelf. Wait. Wait, of what? Red shelf? Green shelf. Red shelf. Let's do red, because I want bad things to happen, and red is the color of blood. When in doubt, punch ice. Oh yeah, totally. Um, what do the plates do? A plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. Breathe on, punch, wipe off. Um, let's see. Use this. We are going to breathe on it. Because I don't think we should punch the plate and crack it. D. Yeah, D for really dumb. Do it, have to be at least <laughs> there is no end to your desire. Well, I'm back to work. Let's see. There seems to be nothing here. The others are A, B, C. Let's try oil drum? An oil drum. There wasn't an oil drum there earlier. We're going to roll it. Am I too small? No, it's going. And then does this lead him to the red shelf? Acetone? An ASAT. What is this? ASAT acetone? Smack him. Smack him! Smack! <gasps> it's his mom's knife! It's his mom's knife! I don't wanna die! It's his mom's knife! Punch, no, always punch. Maybe I punching would have helped. Stopped thinking. That's Tessa! Stand your ground! Cowers to no one. He cowers to everyone, cause he's a loser. Okay, I went for the red shelf. Shown the letter A on the drum. I have to fight back with something! Yes, I got a counterattack ignited. Turn on the electricity. Electricity? Where? Iris, ice cutting machine. <sighs> His mom is the polar bear. They set this all up. Remote control. A remote control. It fell when Ota ran into the shelf. Um, let's use this. Press button, investigate, break. Let's push the button to be safe. Hmm. Maybe there's no power. Ah, oh, so that's what the power's for. Um, wait, what's in the back? Oh, power board. Duh. Wow, I'm really running out of time. I'm not even on the third mental lock yet. Ah! Yeah. It appears to be a power panel. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Throw something, jump, pray! Uh, pray. <laughs> Um, throw something. This is an ice cold one. Iba, aim for the switch. Position Pray. target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Bring Jesus into your life. Okay, now that will work. 
Oh, that was Monster Lock 3. Oh, wait, I haven't been finding hidden items. Should I try to find the hidden item? Now it will move! I... I can't stand. I'm weak! Tell us what else is new, child. Did he really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now, I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up! This is annoying. It really is. Brave hero, true oh, identity revealed? Hurry. I don't think the plates do anything. Ice cutting machine, frozen forklifts. I mean, we have to restore the power, so the remote control has to be the last thing. But wait, I just want to scout around and see if there's a hidden item. <laughs> time does not move. Wait, time is moving! I thought time wasn't supposed to move when I didn't move. Remote control? A remote control. Um, let's see. Push the button now. Here it goes. I hear some sounds. That's how the sounds. crane I'm not was sure working. I press it. Ota might need to. Are you for real? Yeah, Ota. Oh, Mana. Ota looks frightened. He cannot stand. He's a loser. Calm, cheer, motivate, encourage. Why wasn't one of the options punch? <sighs> break, always break. I can't believe that flawlessly work. It just tanked and it turned on. <laughs> this is a dream world for you. Well, cheer is the biggest, so I guess I'll go for cheer. Ota will feel the worth of Iris's peace when he grasps it. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I can't run away now. I can't sacrifice Tessa. Awaken the soul. <sighs> Surprise! It's your mom. Maybe this. Oh, and that was Oh, and I can't believe the guy who made Zero Escape made this game. I kinda can! Well, after third game, I'm not surprised. Yeah, third game was kind of a train wreck. If we go check out Mayumi, where her, will her leg be hurt? Because Ota did get stabbed. Unmask the panda, I mean polar bear. Surprise, it's your mom. Tata, you've hit the limit. Time's up. Wait. I can almost make out their face! Cuter, force shut down. No! Stop! Stop it! Mama just killed her son. <laughs> Put her knife into his gut. Pull that out, and there's his blood. He didn't even see the face. I saw it not. Ooh, that was a lot of time. I got zero time remaining. Well, damn it. You got what you wanted, he was stabbed. Oh yeah, he was stabbed, but he's still alive. <sighs> Do not want that. Sure guy. It's still day four? Wait, it's a different day four. What were you thinking? You can only stay insomnium for six minutes. 
any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. I know. No, you clearly don't. This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. Great! I'll take that risk. If I may? Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Damn it. Date and Ota both read normal. Damn it. <laughs> Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. But Ota never did see his Not face. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. But he got well, stabbed Ota... before he could. Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, mm. didn't you? You have to end the stream soon. I need McDonald's in my life. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. Go get McDonald's. Wait, isn't it super late for you? You're gonna eat this late? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. No, you wouldn't! You hide all this important information from us. You hid that you were hiding a knife under your blanket. You would not tell us anything, you stupid idiot. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them when the polar bear fell over. I need a stronger word for they idiot. Looked like they were knocked out, so I tried to <sighs> grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got stabbed in my gut. That is what we witnessed in his somnium. I'm not going to sleep for another five hours. Oh my gosh. That's the word you're looking for. I know, but I don't cuss, so I don't want to use that. Yeah. Uh, boss. Offer a genuine apology. I know it was dangerous to sink past the time limit. That was my fault, and I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Yes. Then you owe me some Dom P at my favorite club in Kabuki Cho. Or you can lick my shoes. Oh, no, thank you. Either or. I vow to never apologize for anything ever again. <laughs> Boss looks more upset than angry right now. Steel shelf! I opened it up. It's stuffed with mysterious mushrooms. Why mushrooms? There's a metal shelf by the wall. Huta. About my brain waves and otas. It's alright. As I mentioned earlier, both your brain waves are normal. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. Pewter is calm, as usual. Um... How are you- I don't care about how he's feeling. Why are you hiding a knife in your room? Because I was scared. Of what?! Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Or you can also tell the police to provide some additional security. Like you sure idiot! Nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. I have more experience than you. About the hook and the polar bear's leg. Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? It's like I told you. I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. 
the crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out... So it could be Mayumi, because when we saw her in the diner, she was sit sitting at one of the tables, and we couldn't see her left side. We should gotcha. go check out the diner. I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. Well, the killer wouldn't go to a hospital. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. I relate the information to Boss and Pewter. So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Let's go to the diner. Let's go Delta, to the diner. Get out there. Let's go to Look the diner. With an injured left leg. How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? Or we could just serious? go to the diner. Do you know how many people live in this city? Ooh, what's happening? What? Date, what is the matter? Am I gonna pass out from exhaustion? Is my mind messed up? Date! Are you alright? I've lost control of my life, by the way. Mm. How, how so? I'll give you some of my pee. <laughs> Say sai. Tuesday. I really want to look up what all this kanji means. That's the residence. Mizuki! <gasps> Before I continue with that, I want to see the flow chart. I am here. Okay, so this red line, if I went another way, the red line would have continued. But now I'm going yellow. Ah, oh, shoot. I was doing pretty good with going the red route. What was the other way I could have dealt with? Oh, if I let him move it to the green shelf. Ah, oh, but now I'm on a different, totally different path. Damn it! Sinking into Swain. The lovelorn Swain. Sinking in the vein. Sinking in the pain. Sinking in the brain. Ha ha ha. These are clever titles. Okay, let's continue. Hey, this is. Oh, you're alive. Suki? I'm sinking in the brain. Just what sinking happened? in the brain. You drank too much what? at the club and Whoa. passed out. What? I didn't go to a club. Liar. Unless this is a past memory. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. Nope, this isn't a memory. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. Actually, maybe now's a good time to end it. Because I don't know what's going to happen next. So yeah, I think I'll just save this. Uh, create new save data. Oh man, I kind of wish I kept going the red route. Uh, but we'll see what happens in this yellow route now. I wonder how many different routes there are. How long is this game? I mean, if, looking at the flow chart, there's red, blue, green, yellow. Blue prob- like, this probably branches off into like four more paths or something. Who knows how this will end. Blue definitely has to branch off into like at least three different paths too. Oh man, questions! You better have taken your medication. I have. Also, hey Master, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, I'm actually gonna end stream now. 
Looking at the plot on Wikipedia, you have a ton more to do. Ooh. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully things start ramping up more. Ah, oh, man. I do want to... Doesn't sound fun? Oh, I think it's gonna be fun. I kind of regret not um, streaming yesterday, but I was just so, like, in pain. I could not stream. Oh, man. And I can't stream tomorrow because I have something, but... Oh, well. I'll continue more of this next week. <laughs> Sorry, Master, you messed up by coming here so late. Now, <laughs> now I can get Mickey D's. Yeah. Why? Why didn't I stream yesterday? I wasn't feeling well. I overworked my body and I was just too tired and I just needed to rest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the stream here. Can't wait to find out what happens next. I really hope. I really hope in one of these paths, Ulta dies. If he dies in all of these paths, I'll be happy. I wouldn't mind. I hate that kid. Signs of aging? Ah, oh, it really is. Signs of aging. I'm getting so old. Seriously, once you hit 30, your body just starts decaying like that. Like everything you thought you were able to handle, it just dies. So enjoy your life until 30. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to go sleep now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night, everyone. You're just sick? Yeah, I'm sick too. I'm, I think I'm getting another cold. I need to get over it. Bye-bye!